been delayed by an hour and a half. We're just gonna wait and see, but we're at the airport now, so that's good. As we're waiting in the airport, I just finished uploading the Malaga vlog. From the appointment, please gate 27. Your gate has now closed. That's us. Awesome. Okay, well, there's still a big queue. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, there's still a big queue, so we're just waiting here until the queue goes down a bit. That is the queue for 27, right? I think we should go there, just in case. Okay, bye. So we almost missed our flight. There was a huge queue. Oh my god. Complete, that was so stressful. So there was a long ass queue and we thought that queue was for our our plane. Turns out it was for the number right before it, which was 26. We're, we're gate 27. We're so lucky they let us in. First day of Greece today, and let me just show you the view outside. Oh, why is it opening? Oh. Ooh. That's one of the pools. It's so beautiful. So yeah, it's our first day here. We're gonna go off to the beach, uh, have a little swim, explore a bit, get some essentials, and then we're gonna go off to the main town and check out some views over there. So yeah. Let's get straight to it! So we're here in Ladiko Beach, I think that's what it's called. It's right in... oh, I can't even speak. It's right next to Anthony... Anthony Bay, I think that's what it's called. Over here, we can see divers. I don't know if you guys can see, but in two days, we're actually booked to do diving as well, um, which I've never done. Look how clean. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look how clear the water is. So you don't see this kind of water in the UK. Now we're going off to a different part of the beach. So now we're off to a different part of the beach and we're going to go explore some more! So we're now in a different beach. This is Anthony's Bay, I think. And we just managed to find a really good spot because we're in the shade, which is nice, and we have a really nice view. And this part is actually empty, but over there on that side, there's a whole bunch of people. So we got pretty lucky with this spot. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and swim over here. So we're back in the hotel now. Now we're just gonna go to the main city of Rhodes and have a look over there. This is the outfit of the day. Let me just show you guys quickly. I'm just wearing this red dress, which is from Bershka, I think, with these sandals, which are from Shein. They were like three pounds. And this bag, which I don't know where it's from. And we are off to the town of Rhodes. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we are at the top of the island now. It's pretty windy, um, but that's because we're right by the beach. But I saw on TikTok a place called Ellie Beach and there's supposed to be a staircase in the ocean. And then at the top of the staircase is like um, a diving board. But we're here in Ellie Beach and I can't seem to find it. So we're gonna keep looking around. It should be somewhere here. So we found the stairs like over there, if you guys can see. We're gonna go check that out later. It's kind of busy, but it looks very nice. And we're gonna go for some late hunt. But right now we're eating. This is a traditional Greek salad. And I look at this restaurant. It's so nice. jumping off that staircase that's over there that I just showed you guys it doesn't look that far but let me tell you guys that was really scary um, I came out my ear was hurting a little bit but I think I'm all back to normal now um, yeah it's a lot higher than it looks but it was so fun we only did it once well yeah I think I'm not gonna do it again because it was pretty scary but yeah here is the view it's so nice look at the sunset So I just went down to the kitchen to ask for a bag of rice and it's currently in a bag of rice. Anyways, on the bright side, we're about to do scuba diving for the first time, which I'm super excited about. I'm just a little bummed about my phone really, but what can I do? So for scuba diving, they're coming to pick us up from the hotel at 7, which is any minute now. And the worst thing is, I can't even communicate with them because my phone's not working. So anyways, we are going to go and wait by the reception to go scuba diving hopefully that goes well and hopefully by the time i come back my phone will be fixed if not i'm in trouble but yeah let's go scuba diving It's a bit like, oh, what am I doing? 
but throughout the dive it gets better and better and better. To dive safely today I have for you five easy rules of safety. Number one, underwater always breathe and don't hold your breath. Your thumbs in diving indicate direction. So this is underwater means up and down. So if we ask you are you okay and you tell us yeah man I'm great. You're telling us you want to go up right now. But to be clear this is okay. And if you want to go back up Give us this, and we'll bring you straight to the surface. <laughs> so each person had their specific time for when they were going to go scuba diving, and in the meantime we got to do snorkeling. So, little update, we're back at the hotel, we finished scuba diving for the first time, it was amazing. I was a little bit nervous at the beginning because I didn't really know how to breathe and how to use the machines, but it was so fun. Update on the phone situation, I managed to fix it. So basically, I didn't actually show you guys, but we asked the kitchen for rice and this was the rice that they gave us so i put my phone in there and i basically left it here all day while we were scuba diving and then when i came back to the hotel i went to check on out and it was still not working so then i went ahead and called apple we were literally about to leave to go to a phone repair shop but then apple just made me do like these simple instructions which was to what's it called factory reset it or something like that force reset uh, so I did it and straight away it started working again. So luckily I didn't bring my phone, which is great. And now we're actually going to go and swim in the pool. Uh, let me just show you guys the pool right now. So we are on our way to the beach now. We're going to a different beach. There's so many different kinds of beaches here in Rhodes. Apparently this one has caves. So we're going to go check it out. Maybe take some nice pictures. Check out the Instagram. And um, yeah. Here's the view. Go check it out. 
So guys, we are inside the cave. Let me just give you a quick tour. Here it is. So this is the cave. I am so tempted to fly my drone through that gap, but I don't think I'm that skilled of a drone flyer just yet. So maybe not. I don't want to crash it, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fly my drone. Here's the footage. <laughs> dinner to a restaurant right across the road over there and I just want to say I was really confused by this crossing because there were traffic lights to cross but then there was a metal bar and there was no pavement on the other side so it was you walk on the grass and you step over that metal bar. I was just so confused I've never seen anything like it and I was wearing flip-flops. So we made it to the restaurant and this is homemade wine which tastes delicious. This was my first time paddleboarding and it was so beautiful and relaxing paddleboarding in this clear ocean water. However, at the beginning of the paddle session, our instructor did let us know that there was a fire on the island and he said that if we were struggling to breathe due to the smoky air, we could go back to land. He mentioned that these fires happen every year, so it's pretty common in roads, which is why I wasn't too worried at the beginning. However, after arriving home from my holiday, I saw the news and saw that roads were severely on fire. I'm very grateful to have gotten home at the time I did because things could have turned out very differently. And there were some people we met while paddleboarding and they were staying for a few days later than us. And that's when the fire got severely worse and they closed the borders to come in and out of roads. So I just wanna say that my prayers went to everyone who's affected by the fire. I just hope that everyone was okay. Our last day in Rhodes today and we're just gonna go and explore the city of Palaraki. I think it's a town actually. Um, but yeah, we haven't explored that yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the last day. Um, we did do paddleboarding this morning and snorkeling again, which was so much fun, but oh my gosh, paddleboarding is definitely an arm workout. Anyways, now we're looking old glam, so we're gonna go out for dinner in Palaraki. Um, yeah, let's enjoy the last day and tomorrow we're leaving around 1 o'clock. Anyone thinking of coming to Rhodes, just know that the public transport is really bad, the buses don't come very often and also they were so full that I had to sit in these foldable chairs right by the door and they were blocking the door. So every time someone had to get out, we had to stand up. So we 
we got traditional food. This is called moussaka, which is a traditional dish. And this is a meat platter, which looks delicious. Wow, this looks so good. So they gave us these free shots. Ooh. Taxi's gonna come and pick us up in like an hour. I'm actually gonna melt because I'm wearing jeans. They didn't fit my bag. This bag is jam packed. So yeah, I had to wear like the thickest layers and then I'm gonna be wearing my jumper as well. So yeah, that's the end of the Greece vlog. If you guys are ever coming to Rhodes in Greece, I definitely recommend this hotel because it was amazing. It's a three-star hotel, but to me, it felt like a five-star hotel because it looked so nice when we first came in. I loved it. Um, the food was really good as well. So, yeah, this is Zoe's hotel if you guys want to check it out. Yep, you read that right. It said limo. Basically, if you remember back to the beginning of the vlog, we had pre-ordered a taxi and it was severely delayed. And in the end, we ended up sharing a car, which wasn't even a taxi, with another family. And because of that, they made sure that on our second time using their services, they would give us a fancier car. So yeah, this was our free limo that came to pick us up. And to end my holiday off, I saw my best friend working in her new job as an air host and I'm so proud of her. Eee. See you in the next travel vlog to Cyprus.